What's up, what's up, what's up? Welcome back to the channel. So I am in a very good mood today. The reason being is because I finally got that ticket out of the way. What was supposed to be a $260 ticket ended up being a $114 ticket. Um, reminder, if you have a ticket, make sure that you go to court. Never pay for your ticket right away because if you go to court, they will lower it. I promise you they will. But anyways, let me get right into today's video. So this is going to be a quick video for you guys. I kind of wanted to uh, basically make a confession. You know, this happened about last year. I never said anything. I never told anybody about this story because truth be told, I was kind of embarrassed and I, I don't know, I kick myself in the head sometimes for it because I'm like, I should have known better. I don't know how I let that happen. But uh, let me go ahead and tell you guys the story. So I'll let you guys guess. It either happened to that vehicle or it happened to this one. I'll let you guess. I'll tell you the story and then I'll tell you afterwards which one it happened to. Basically what happened was, and the beginning is gonna be like long story short, straight to the point type thing because I mean, it's pretty straightforward in the beginning till we get to the sauce of the story. And like I said, I never told anybody this. My first time repeating this whole situation is literally right now. I never told anybody this, but. So, pull the vehicle in because I needed an oil change and I figured if I'm gonna be doing an oil change, I might as well just check the coolant level to make sure everything's good. If it needs to be topped off, I can top it off. So I'll pull the vehicle in, drain the oil, pull the filter, oil drained out of there put the new filter on and uh, of course jacked the car down because I was ready to put oil in it and I noticed that the coolant level was low so I put coolant in it topped that off and then I went to go put the oil in it and then after I got done putting the oil in it I started the car to make sure everything was good you know because I always want to check for leaks and things like that so I started it checked underneath the car everything was great right turned it off checked the, dip, checked the dipstick to make sure everything was good you know because I was done and so I noticed that the dipstick was a little bit low, like it wasn't to the, the, basically the point where, you know, it's good. So I added a little bit more oil, but here's where things get interesting. I had the coolant and the oil right next to each other. So I wasn't paying attention. So when I grabbed the, the bottle thinking that it was oil, it was the coolant. So what happened was I went to go pull it or pour it into the, uh, into, you know, the engine and in my head, I'm like, why is it milky? And I, I looked down and I noticed that it was a coolant. But keep in mind, the car's off, so it's not running, obviously. And I'm like, oh, like, have you ever, have you guys ever experienced a point where, like, any situation where, like, you just stop and, like, you just feel like your, your heart stops and, like, your body, whole body's going cold? Like, you know that, like, you just, just, you just did something, like, not good. Like, I don't, I don't even know how to explain this, the feeling that I felt at that moment. Like, I just felt like it's over. It's done. It, like, it's done for. So I sat there for a minute, and I'm like, what did I just do? Anyways, I reacted fast after getting over what, whatever feeling I was, you know, feeling. So, Put down the coolant, obviously, and immediately drained the oil. Immediately. Because keep in mind, I literally just mixed coolant and oil together. Where the oil was supposed to be. Coolant is not supposed to be where the oil is supposed to be. So anyways, I drained the oil immediately. Immediately. And I, I literally let this car sit for a minute. Because I wanted every drop of that coolant out of the wherever, you know, the, the block or whatever. So, after it drained... I obviously had to go back to the store to get more oil. So I got the oil, basically put the drain plug back on there, and I put the oil back in the uh, the uh, engine, you know, make sure everything's good. I'm like, okay, cool. So then I wanted to make sure that the filter was tight too. So I took that off, make sure that there was no um, coolant in there either, because, you know, obviously, even though the engine's not running, I still wanted to make sure. So I took the filter off, put the filter back on, jacked the car down, I, had, I put the oil in it, and then I went to start the car again to make sure everything was good, make sure there was no leaks or anything like that. When I started the car, the oil light came on and it stayed there for about three seconds. The oil light's always going to come on along with all the other lights on the dash, but obviously it goes away. After, you know, everything's all good inside the car, checks the car and make sure that everything's good in the computers and all that stuff, right? So then this specific light, was, the oil light wasn't going off. Like three seconds, like one, two, three, like it's supposed to go off and it was not going off. So after three, like three to five seconds, I'm like, what the heck? So I turned the car off immediately, like immediately. And I'm like, cause in my head, I'm like, what the heck? Like, why is the oil light on? So I get out and I go in front of my car, all the oil, all the, keep in mind the oil that I just went to the store and bought, all of that oil 
was on the ground. All of it. Every last bit of it was off. So I literally started the car with no oil in it at all. Zero oil in the vehicle. So so I sat there like in disbelief, like, what the heck just happened? So in my head, first of all, the car is off. I, I started the car with no oil in it. That's whatever. I turned the vehicles off now, so that's done and over with. Like, if it if the car is blown, it's blown. It is what it is now. So now I'm dealing with the fact that all that oil is on the ground. Now, for all my car guys out there, if you got an oil on the ground, you know, or just oil anywhere, even on your hands, you know how hard oil is to clean because of the fact that oil and water don't mix. So you can't, I mean, you can use water, but it's going to take a whole lot of water to wash it off. So... And keep in mind, this is brand new oil, like it's clear. So after I uh, I saw all that oil on the ground, all I did was just, I just sat in front of it and I just, I was just looking at it because I was like in disbelief, like, are you serious? First of all, I got the coolant in the oil and now I got the coolant or the oil on the ground. So basically after that, I cleaned it up and I pushed the, because obviously I can't start the car, so I pushed it out myself and got to it the next day. Went to troubleshoot what exactly happened. And it ended up being the uh, gasket that's on the filter. I'm not for sure, like, if I screwed it on, like, the wrong way or, like, when I screwed it on. I don't know. Either way, it came off. So, when a car started, all the oil basically went through where the gasket was supposed to be at. And, then, yeah, it, it just leaked everywhere. So, that that uh, that wasn't the best, uh, the best situation that I've been in. I wasted a total of 2046. I wasted a total of $60 in oil. And I drove around for a day in fear that my car was uh, basically going to be at the last of its life because of the fact that I got coolant in the oil and I started it. I mean, obviously, like, if I started it without the oil, then it would just be, like, Denzel right there. Like, it wouldn't take a minute. But, I don't know, you always have that fear in the back of your head. So now that I told you the story, which car do you think I'm talking about? You think I'm talking about the ST? You think I'm talking about the Soul? Which one? Uh, should I tell you guys, it was the soul. <laughs> There's no way that I'd make that mistake with this car. Regardless of what type of pickle or brain fart I was having. Nope. Conscious wouldn't let it happen. I've been really trying, baby. Trying to hold back this feeling for so long. And if you feel like I feel, baby, then come on. Oh, come on. Woo!